Some limits to our mechanized use help us preserve solitude and wildness. The future of conservation has to involve recreation. It absolutely has to. The system didn't work. Public comment didn't work at all. They need to use science. You can't use this. A bicycle affects my spiritual experience. It was discovered by mountain bikers. Now all of a sudden we have to watch where we're going. We have to jump off the trail. Most of the mountain bikers I know are environmentalists. The open space has gone out, they've done their homework, and the response by Audubon is, well, if you do that, we're gonna sue you. And whether they're saving the environment or not, their spin says they're saving the environment. It is uh, impossible to make everybody happy. I think you just get off your bike at some point, just the same way you park a vehicle. I mean, we all drive vehicles. I would rather put myself at risk with a ranger giving me a ticket than put myself at risk for getting hit by a car. If they're doing that much damage, it should be obvious. They couldn't find a trail, I had to point it out. Start hitting my bike. And I'm like, really? Now I have to break your hiking stick. And I was demonized by the state for trying to stand up. I gave them the scientific literature and their comment back was, well, we have our own scientists. You know, if the forest is the land of many uses, mountain biking has to be part of it. The future leaders of conservation are steeped in these activities. They're the young people that are out there experiencing these lands as intensely as they can and building that ethic and appreciation for wanting to protect them.